you know, Aram say, Aram say, he's got time. There's no point in rushing it. David Warner, I think, has earned that right to go out on his own terms. And if things don't happen for whatever reason, then he's definitely there to, to take part. Yeah, look, it's, we'll have to wait and see, I guess, but um, the thing that I know about Mitchell Marsh, he's a terrific guy, he's loved by his teammates, he's got the respect, and that's what you want as a captain, you know, former leaders of the game. They, they, they earn that respect. You have to look up to your captain, and, and Mitchell Marsh is definitely a guy that has definitely earned that. Pretty good if they're defending champions that they did something right last time. So um, it, it's all about timings and the conditions that they're playing on. But every, every team's got a chance to go and win the, you know, the T20 World Cup. So you just got to make sure that they understand the conditions, pick the right combination of the team to suit those conditions, and then have a bit of luck doing it as well. For me, it's probably been the, the power at the, at the top order, you know, going out and taking on the, uh, you know, the first six overs. I think back to Sri Lanka against these guys. They used to come out and just blitz from ball one. And they, they honestly took us and caught us off guard on many occasions because we hadn't seen players do that before. You know, you think back to 50 over games and if you get 220, 230, it's a good score. You know, 200 is a very good score. Whereas when they go out and they blitz, you know, 50, 60, 80 off the first six, seven overs, that just sets the tone and then that builds that moment, you know, the whole momentum for the rest of the um, you know, 15 or 14 overs. Back in the week, in the week, the... Pray. <laughs> Get your ego, put your code in the safe, leave it at the hotel. Because as a fast bowler, as a spinner, as a medium pace bowler, you are going to get hit for sixes. De de these guys are going to hurt you. That's T20 cricket. But you've got to just try and limit that, that damage. So, you know, the, the, bats, the bats are getting bigger and lighter. Uh, the power hitting is improving. But also, too, as, as fast bowlers, I'm talking on behalf of all fast bowlers now, that, you know, I want to see fast bowlers bowl more Yorkers. I still don't reckon they execute enough Yorkers. I mean, if you look back to 17 years of Indian Premier League, on average a Yorker goes for a strike rate of less than 100, which tells me that one, one run or less per ball that's executed. Now, when you bowl a Yorker and you've got guys like this that can go down and scoop you over their head, well that puts pressure on you as a bowler. You just hit the right field to put two men back, third man finally back. You've got to evolve as a bowler. But I, I don't think on a general rule, other than Boomerang, we haven't seen enough fast bowlers, not only in the Yorkers recently. Are you a fast bowler in disguise? That's what I want to know. Maybe. Um, I'm, all, I'm all for sixes, I'm all for batsmen getting out there and smoking balls all over the field, but there's got to be something in it for the bowlers too. I'm not asking for a green top where you, you know, a team's bowled out for 110, because that's not good for cricket either. But you know, you want to. You want a good total, I think. Anywhere around that, that 185 mark to 230, I think, is a good, a good score. We've seen scores now of 265, 270, 277. It's really hard because most bowlers now are going for 45 to 50 off their four overs. So do we accept that bowlers now are happy with a um, runs per over at 9 or 10? Or are we happy to say that the wickets have been a little bit, you know, better for the batsmen? So, a bit more for the bowlers, a bit more of a competition. But I still love seeing sixes here because it's entertaining. Bats can get free hits, right? So maybe if, if the batsman misses two balls in a row, it's a free bowl. Stumps. It's got to like leave it. Big, right. big. There's a lot of talk. Well, it, it, it's, it's, as I said, it's like going back to the, the late 90s, early 2000s where Sri Lanka were instrumental to come out and just dominate from ball one. Take on the fast bowlers, take, take on the power play, take on back then was the first 10 overs or now is the first six overs. Have that freedom as an athlete to express yourself. So it, it's, the, the conundrum is that if you go out and, and try and lace first ball for six, you could be none for 70 off your first six overs, or you could be three for 40. And if you're three for 40, you're probably going to lose more games than what you will win them. So it's that happy medium where you've got to be happy to go out and attack, knowing that you could lose. You know, when you're playing on low, slow wickets like we'll probably see in the West Indies and over in the USA, you know, running and trying to bowl 160 Ks, 
with after after the ball's gone for six six balls after the first over, it's probably not the best thing to do. He wants the ball a bowler trying to bowl as quick as they can on length in a hit for six. So bowlers are think gonna be smarter, pace off the ball, set your field, find out where the longer boundaries are, try and get the ball to go the longer boundaries, into the wicket, making hit cross bat off the boundary straight. You know, the, the, the sort of full fast yorkers. Just think a bit more about it. I think it's, uh, I, I'm not uh, encouraging impact player. There's, uh, that really uh, not good for the game. No, uh, I, I think better to having 11 in the in his trust. He announced 11, that 11 should uh, adjust to the game. Uh, that impact player, uh, I don't think is good for this game. Maybe leave the impact play for the umpires. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.